feeling is much broader than that in trucking. At least it's been interpreted as such by the Department of Labor. And I'm going to talk about a law that's enforced by the Department of Labor, not DOT, contrary to popular belief. Well, whistleblowing also involves internal complaints to your employer about violations of the law. Well, what do we got in trucking? You know, we got a whole book of laws here, right? And who's seen one of these? See the color? Green says J.J. Keller on it. I suspect everybody's seen one of these if they're a truck driver. But we got a whole bunch of stuff. So what's been construed as whistleblowing? Filing a pre-trip inspection report with your employer, noting violations. What else? Sending a Qualcomm that says, I'm tired and I need to go to sleep and I'm almost out of hours and I can't make the delivery. All right? These are types of whistleblowing in trucking. There's other types of whistleblowing. That's refused to work in violation of the law. Well, there's a law that protects you. Now, the law is called the STAA. It stands for the Surface Transportation Assistance Act. And that law is a law that was signed into law in 1982 by President Reagan. Okay? We've all heard over the years how the Republicans are supposedly uh, not particularly labor friendly, but this law was signed into law by President Reagan. And that and it initially was part of the law was the law that gave us 48 foot trailers and 80,000 pound roads on the national network of interstates and U.S. highways. Well, that law has a little provision in there, and it says essentially as follows it says, No person may discharge, which means fire, discriminate, or basically uh, discriminate or discipline a commercial driver because the driver refuses to do one or more of the following acts. Or, excuse me, because the driver does one of the following acts. One, files a complaint with the government or his employer about violations of DOT safety regulations. Two, if the driver refuses to drive in violation of a commercial vehicle safety regulation, or testifies in a proceeding related to a violation of a DOT regulation. Now you might think, of, well, we'll talk about proceedings in a minute. It's not as formal as you might think. Or because the driver refuses to drive in violation of, uh, or excuse me, because the driver refuses to drive in violation of a commercial vehicle safety regulation, which can include overweight laws, all sorts of laws that might even only be loosely connected with a safety issue, or because the driver refuses to drive because of a reasonable safety concern. That law protects all of you. Now those of you who are drivers, let's see a show of hands. Who has ever, okay, before I get it, that was a predicate, okay? Those of you who are drivers here, how many of you have been asked directly, okay, to break a DOT regulation? Okay. How many of you have been told indirectly, like, this is a hot load. It's got to get from Seattle. This is a case I had originally. This has got to get from the Seattle airport to the San Francisco airport overnight. One shot, you know, no 10 hour break, okay? But all they're told, you're told, who's been told this load is hot and you know it's going to break hours of service? Okay. Who of you have been, how many of you have been told you make a complaint, you write up an uh, inspection report, or you, you've given notice, a Qualcomm message, or a PeopleNet message to your employer, and you say, you know, I got a, I got a bald tire on the trailer. So do you ever give that? Do you get bald tires? On the inadequate tread depth, marker light out, air leak, and they tell you, well, it's too expensive to get it repaired on the road. We'll get it repaired in a month when you get back to the terminal. Yeah, all right. And this stuff goes on. I and mean, this is an everyday occurrence. Well, this law protects you if you refuse to drive. Doesn't, the law doesn't say it's gotta be an out of service violation. It doesn't even say that the truck's gotta be unsafe. You are protected if you refuse to drive in violation of a commercial vehicle safety regulation.